What is going on guys? My name is Kenji, welcome back to my channel. Hope this is the first time you're watching one of my videos, but just in case it is, I'm a fourth year medical student and biomedical science graduate at King's College London, and you guys have seen my daily lives, you've seen my study with me, but one thing you've actually never seen before is a whole entire week in my life from Monday to Friday, and that's exactly what this video is going to be about. The video you're just about to watch is actually filmed a couple of weeks ago. I'm not so sure what happened to the, you know, starter clip that I had for you guys, but in this vlog, I take you guys along with me during the final week of my obstetrics and gynecology placement, which was just before Christmas. It was actually a really, really busy week because at the end of the week, I actually flew home for Christmas to spend time with my family, which was absolutely amazing. I'm really excited to take you guys along with me on this week in Obzengaini before I start my pediatrics rotation, which is the next block coming along after Christmas. So I'll see you guys in the next clip, which is just shortly after I came back from uh, my morning placement on that Monday morning. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the vlog. Right, so it's currently 11 a.m. right now, and I wish I could tell you guys something like exciting that happened this morning, but to be honest with you, like nothing happened. I showed up around 9.30 a.m. The doctor was like, yeah, to be honest with you, there's nothing really going on. You're not really gonna get anything out of this. You may as well just go home and go to the library, which I don't necessarily like agree with. I feel like I could have seen some patients. Like, he could have maybe taught me a few things about like what's going on that morning, but I was like kind of considering like not putting this in and just like looking over this morning. But I think it's actually really important to, to share the reality with you guys and share the reality that every single morning in medicine especially when you're in the hospital may not necessarily be fun for various reasons like you know maybe the doctor can't teach at the moment maybe there's no patients to see and i drove all the way there which is like 45 minute drive and had to drive all the way back this morning so instead what i decided to do is to go to the doctor's mess and have uh, a breakfast in the morning what's really amazing about the hospitals that we get a free breakfast so i went to the cafeteria got a free breakfast and sat down in the doctor's mess had a bit of food to eat and I decided to come back to my accommodation and work from here. What's really important to tell you guys is that if you have a morning that's not very productive for you know a reason like mine, don't let the rest of the day go to waste, like don't let the rest of the day be ruined, come home, you know, do whatever work you can and try to make the best of the day that you have ahead of you. So because I didn't actually get to learn in the hospital, the plan right now is to sit down on my laptop and go through some medicine questions, some past paper questions and try learn as much as I can and not let the rest of the day go to waste. So in around 50 minutes, I'll be heading to the hospital and the reason why is because I'm actually giving a talk to the doctors there's a really big meeting going on at lunchtime where all the doctors come and like share cases and some share some like interesting cases they've had uh, over the last week and month but as part of my quality improvement project which is basically a research project that we have to do as part of our fourth year as part of this project my team and i have to go and present a certain topic to the doctors to try and improve a particular service that is being given at the hospital so i have 50 minutes to do a bit of work do a bit of question then my team and i will go practice presenting this whole presentation and then hopefully after that we'll give our presentation to the doctors like cross my fingers it won't go uh, terribly bad. After that, I'm sure we'll have some lunch and I'll come back to my accommodation and probably do some more work. So I'll see you guys in the next shot. But there's no point in us putting the link yeah, up. They can't. They've already done this. It's a QR code. They've already done this. Take one. You're definitely going to be in now. <laughs> what? Turn the camera around. Show Georgie eating her potato. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Y
it is what it is. So yeah, just catching you guys up on the day so far. So I had a pretty good morning and afternoon um, in the diabetic uh, clinic. It was really cool because I got to sit with one of the doctors and we're dealing with patients who had diabetes during their pregnancy. And this is something that I actually didn't know until I started this placement is that diabetes is actually quite a common uh, thing that happens in pregnancy. So we basically got the chance to speak to patients and basically help them manage their diabetes during the pregnancy because if it's not properly managed and the diabetes during the pregnancy and the high blood sugar levels can actually cause some complications to the baby, such as the baby being born quite large, which also has uh, some more risks as well. And there's also a higher risk of the baby actually dying if the diabetes is not controlled. So yeah, it's really nice just to have a chat with the patients and learn a lot more about diabetes and how it's managed during pregnancy. The plan right now is since I didn't actually finish that late is to sit on my laptop and work for a few hours. You guys will probably see this is quite a common theme during the evenings and afternoons during medical school. Uh, a lot of my time is spent, you know, sat on my desktop learning and trying to consolidate all the kind of uh, information that I'm supposed to know on this obstetrics and gynecology block. And it's all kind of in preparation for my exam, which I have, I think my next exam is actually in January uh, after Christmas. So the more work I get done now, the less I have to work over Christmas and the more time I can spend with my family or even like, or maybe take a little break as well. So yeah, the plan is to work for the next couple of hours and I'll catch you guys up on uh, how it goes. All right, so it's currently around 5 p.m. and 5 p.m. for me is a time to have a snack. Uh, my go-to snack, as you guys can see, uh, is a waffle with chocolate on it and a cup of tea as well. So I've been working the last uh, couple of hours and having a snack like in the middle of my work session just gives me that added bit of motivation to keep going. So I'm gonna carry on working for another maybe a couple of hours and then probably stop to take a break for dinner. So let's keep going. So it's currently around 7.30 p.m. and I'm finally done working. Um, it's been quite a long day of like studying on my desk, but I'm really, really glad that I actually put in the time to work. I feel pretty accomplished. Um, so I'm gonna have dinner real quick and, and some of my flatmates will actually be meeting up in the sitting room to play some card games, play some board games, which I'm really looking forward to like after a couple of hours of working you know really hard it's nice to be of motivation when all of the medical students who I live with also equally want to like have fun and hang out and yeah just spend time together after you know such a long day so tomorrow I actually have a day off uh, it's not actually a day off but every Wednesday we have a day not in the hospital but actually working on our quality improvement project which is one of the research projects that I told you guys about earlier on so I don't actually start particularly early tomorrow morning so I can kind of hang out with my friends a bit tonight and then I'll wake up a bit later tomorrow and carry on working as well so I'm gonna grab my board games and go Go head over to sitting rooms, play with my flatmates. So I'll see you guys shortly. <laughs> right, guys. So just playing a few games, with my friends, and the doorbell rang, and I finally got my. Actually, I want to tell you guys what it is. I've got a parcel which I've been looking forward to for such a long time. It's been delayed for the last seven days, and it's finally arrived. Uh, I'll show you guys what it is in two seconds when I set it up. So I set it up. Black as well. You are actually winning. So last night I ended up spending way too much time setting this up behind me. Um, I'm so excited to show you guys. I know it's really nerdy to be this excited about technology, but let me show you guys real quick why it took me so long yesterday to build this thing behind me. So drum roll, please. All right, so the reason why I was so excited is because my standing desk finally arrived. As you guys can see behind me, I finally have a standing desk, which is, which is so cool. Like just being able to work like standing up right now. Um, like when I get tired, because sometimes when I revise like all day long and I spend like eight to 10 hours revising, my back starts hurting. So having a standing desk behind me is just so sick and I've been looking forward to it so much. And to be honest with you, to like catch you guys up on today, um, it's currently around 4 p.m. and all I did all day long was work on my desk. Like I want to find a balance between making these videos entertaining for you guys and like showing you guys really cool things about medical school, but also finding a balance with just being honest with you and telling you guys that not every day is like absolutely amazing. So I spent the day literally sat on my desktop uh, giving mock interviews um, on uh, on Zoom and also just doing a bit of medicine as well, you know, going through some past papers and studying for our next exam in January. And that was pretty much what I did all day long. But what I'm most excited about, more than this table, is the gyms are finally open. If you guys are not from the UK, uh, we've been in lockdown for the last four weeks, so all the gyms were entirely closed and I wasn't able to work out. But finally, the gyms are open. As I said, it's around 4.30, 4 o'clock now and I've been dying to go gym all day long, uh, and I'm so excited to do that. So I'm gonna head to the gym uh, now, and then when I get home, I may work for a few more hours, and then probably hang out with my flatmates in the evening. So I'll catch you guys out on the next shot. See you in a bit. So back to the gym now, and when I was in the gym, the, well, first of all, it was the most amazing workout I've had in such a long time. It just felt so good to be back and finally like working out, and 
just getting out of the house, like every single day has pretty much been hospital, home, hospital, home, hospital, home. And it's been so nice just to see, like just to see people. Like I don't even know who these people are, but just to see them and to get out and feel like things are normal again. It was absolutely amazing. And the second thing is, as I was getting changed to the gym, we have like a TV in the changing rooms, and I saw in the news that the Prime Minister of the UK has just announced the first approval of the COVID-19 vaccine, which is, like, today can't get any better, pretty much. Like, it's been, it's crazy to know that within the next few weeks, and possibly next week, um, they'll be rolling out the vaccines across the whole entire country, and it's so nice to know that there is an end coming to COVID. And if you're watching this video and you're home and you're, you know, stuck at home for the last couple of weeks and things have been difficult for you, um, don't worry, like, hang in there. There will be a vaccine available worldwide, you know, sooner or later. And this is a huge step to, you know, getting out of this, you know, really dark situation that we've all been in. So in order to celebrate that great news, I got myself a McDonald's, a Mackey's, one of my favorite takeaways. So I want to eat this uh, and then probably work for another couple of hours and then hang out with my friends or do something exciting after that. So hang in there, guys. The end is coming soon. So then the evening off. I finished off my takeaway and sat down to play a bit of Xbox with my friends. And in case you're wondering, yes, of course, we came first place. Good morning, guys. Hope you're having an amazing day. Uh, so it's currently uh, about 20 past eight in the morning. I left my house around uh, 7.45 to get to the hospital in time. This morning, I'm actually in theater in the C-section, which I'm so, so excited for. One of the best experiences I've ever had in medical school is actually in C-section where I um, helped to deliver a child uh, in surgery, which is amazing. Uh, I'm really, really excited. Although it's so cold, it's probably around one or two degrees right now. <laughs> Absolutely freezing, but I'm really looking forward to today. So I'll catch you guys up on the day as soon as everything gets down, everything gets settled down. So I'll see you guys very, very shortly. Bye. You ready? One trick for you guys, if you wear um, glasses and you wear a mask as well, try and double up your uh, mask over here to make an X, and that kind of pulls your mask down and prevents your glasses from fogging up. And then try to have your glasses like on the tip of your nose or like halfway down your nose, just allow some like air to come up from the top. And yeah, that is something I discovered probably three months into being in the hospital, and it absolutely changed my life. Yeah guys, so a couple of hours have passed since the last uh, clip that you guys saw and I wanted to sit down before I go out and I will explain why I'm wearing this fancy shirt later on but, but I want to sit down and catch up with you guys on everything that happened before I kind of uh, go. But yeah, being completely honest with you guys, I didn't really enjoy the last week of being in uh, in Obs and Guyana to be honest with you. I thought that today being a Friday, this week is going to end up like just just kind of go to waste, be a bit horrible. And as you guys saw, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I did have good days and I did like do stuff outside of medicine, but in placement, I didn't really see anything significant. And that's just kind of how things are in medicine. You know, sometimes there will be patients that are interesting. Sometimes there won't be any uh, interesting patients. Sometimes you, um, the doctors might not want to teach you for whatever reason there might be. There are some weeks in medicine that may not necessarily be, you know, that interesting or that busy. And that all kind of changed this morning. So to kind of explain to you guys what happened, um, you know, since the last clip you saw, I walked into the uh, theaters, I got changed. And after getting changed and going into theaters, I straight away uh, spoke to the consultant, explained that one of the things I really wanted to get away from today was to put in a female catheter. And for those of you that don't know, a catheter is basically uh, a tube that goes up the water works into the bladder and drains the bladder uh, while the patient's in surgery. And this is really important because I was actually in C-section, so uh, delivering babies via C-section. Um, and it's really important to drain that bladder throughout to make sure that the bladder doesn't get in the way of the uterus. So when you're cutting into the, um, you know, the, the lady's uterus, you don't accidentally cut the bladder and that's kind of all out of the way. And that's one of the kind of clinical skills that I need to get signed off my portfolio before going home for Christmas. So today my intention was to get that portfolio um, signed off uh, for female catheterization. So anyways, I walked into the room I introduced myself and I asked if I would be able to do the catheter myself and I went to see the patient, uh, consented them for the catheter uh, procedure beforehand and they were happy for me to do it. And uh, I went in, I put the catheter in and as I was finishing off the catheter, the consultant said, Kenji, oh, would you mind assisting in the surgery? And straight away I was like, oh my God, like I haven't revised much anatomy. I haven't done a C-section. I haven't helped out in a C-section for almost two years now. If you, have, if you guys haven't checked out my last video on like my first C-section, definitely go check it out. But I hadn't like been anywhere in a theater to do the, to do the opposite kind of the last two years. So in my head, I was freaking out and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to like sit down and like help this surgeon, you know, in their surgery. But anyways, I scrubbed up, got in, got involved and it was 
such a good day and such a good experience. I was able to help the surgeons actually in surgery, delivering the baby. I was able to actually pull the baby out of the uterus, hold the baby myself and carry the baby uh, over to like the, in the area where the midwife was to look after the baby. And before I did that, I actually got the opportunity to cut the cord myself as well, which is so, so sick and so much fun. And that's the thing about medicine, guys. You can spend, you know, maybe a couple of days with nothing much going on. It might be a bit boring. And then you have this one day that really, really reminds you why you chose this career and why you chose to do medicine. And the whole entire journey on the way home, I was reflecting on like what just happened. You know, the ability to go in and get a female catheterization done and also assist in a C-section, be one of the first people to hold a baby again, was absolutely amazing. And that, that, that for me made my week, it made my month of medicine. You know, it, it kind of it nullifies, I don't know if that's a word, but it kind of takes away all of the kind of, you know, shit time I had for the rest of the week and made it and turned it into a really, really good week. And it's that one moment that reminds you why you chose this career and why it was so amazing. Also the fact that I, I met the parents for a couple of minutes, you know, I consented them for maybe two minutes. And after two minutes, they immediately trusted me so much to be involved in their surgery, to deliver their baby, and also be a part of, you know, looking after their most prized their most prized possession which to them is their baby and being able to like hold baby like i was freaking out thinking oh my god if i carry this baby and i drop this baby it's game over for me my career is done you know and i was freaking it and i was honestly so nervous to carry that baby over to the where the midwife is across the room but we got it done and it again it reminded me why i chose this career and it made me, made me like so happy to to be a part of it so after that amazing day um i finished off in the early afternoon i went to get a covid test and the reason why is because i'm actually flying to uh, kenya uh, tomorrow i'm flying to kenya to go to visit my family and have a bit of a holiday before i come back in january i haven't actually taken a break from med school since august so it's been a couple of months of like hard grind so I'm gonna go to Kenya for around two weeks, see my family, spend some time uh, just kind of relaxing. And then I'll be back uh, probably, I think just before January to prepare for the next big exam in med school, which is my next, you know, big exam. And now the reason why I'm dressed like this is because we're having a kind of Christmas dinner in my flat. So everyone's kind of getting together, having a few drinks, um, making some food and all like eating together and just talking about our days, talking about our weeks and finishing off this uh, first term medicine. It's crazy to think that I'm already halfway through fourth year. Um, time, has time has flown so fast, guys. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to what the rest of the year holds. So I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas if you're watching this. And if you have already uh, watched this uh, after Christmas, I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I hope you have an amazing uh, time uh, starting off 2021. And let's start this 2021 off with a bang, guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.